And now for a different look at sports. This is Meet the Mats, where sports get funny. Good day, everybody. We've got a sponsor now, Emirates Air. How do you think that impacts getting players interested in the game? I think it's a mutually beneficial relationship. And I think uh, them putting money into the program and sponsoring us is going to have a big impact on our game. It it makes life so much more easy. That trickles down to all levels, and that's going to be a big help for U.S. rugby. We spoke earlier to uh, Team Canada's eight-man Aaron Carpenter, and he's not a lot taller than me, but he's like twice my width. You're facing monsters every single play. Well, you look pretty intact. I've been very, very lucky with regard to injuries. I've uh, been playing a long time. Guys like Aaron Carpenter, great player. Like you said, very, very big physical presence. You know, when you're a guy that's that's much undersized, you rely on technique and thank my lucky stars all the time that, you know, I continue to stay healthy. And maybe point to your teammates, get that guy. That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to do as little of that as possible, yeah. but get him! certainly rely on teammates when need be. Yeah. If you don't make the tackle, it's a 20-yard run to your fullback. Right, and as a scrum if my tackles are, are made on the inside, around the fringes, on the bigger boys. Um, before they get ahead of steam. Before they get ahead of steam, thankfully, and then uh, scramble tackles on the outside on the fast guys. Coach, fly half fullback in your career? Fly half fullback. All right, so how the French defense did you get to be the defensive coach? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Coach O'Sullivan approached me about it. I know our team played pretty good defense in the Super League and with Xavier, and I assume that's you know maybe why he got the idea. The big guy from France, Chabal? Shabal, 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 oh, uh, Shabal, right? But have you ever played against Shabal? I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't had the pleasure uh, of playing against Shabal. He's. I would kick his derriere. <laughs> <laughs> He's a unit, and I won't go that far. In case I ever do play against him, I'll keep that one. Uh, you know, you could you could keep yeah, that to yeah. yourself. Do the Eagles have a player that would be on an All Star team of of World Cup players? Oh sure. I don't think we uh, you know have a whole team of them yet. Hopefully we will one day, but I think there are certainly a couple of guys who could feature on that team. What was your most memorable moment in rugby, Mike? 2007 World Cup, my first appearance for the USA. South African match, they became world champions. I was playing against guys I had been studying on film. About 40,000 people in southern France. You just get so caught up to everything just just happened so quickly. Do you remember your first hit? Do you remember getting waffled for the first time? I only got probably about 10 minutes at the end, but was happy enough to run around the field, make about two tackles, throw a couple passes. I believe Butch James gave me a nice solid hit as well, so I'll certainly remember that one, my first international hit. But that's definitely the most memorable thing I've done so far. The next step for you, you've signed with a team in England, is that accurate? That's right, yeah. I'll be heading over to, to England next season to play. I'm really excited about it. What team? Unfortunately, uh, I, uh, I can't say right now. Oh, come on. Aaron Carpenter of Team Canada said the exact same thing. I'm going over there August 1st is when I'm supposed to be over there. So, If I start guessing the names of the team, will you say? <laughs> uh, no. What's with the cone of silence? I think he's holding out for scoop money. I think, uh, uh, did you notice that wink he was yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. The Brooklyn thing? Right, How right. you doing? How you doing? Right. I mean, yeah, I know how that works. <laughs> Coach, just give me a couple of quick thoughts about how it's changed since you were playing yourself. Certainly the, the biggest thing that's changed is we have kids who are 8, 9, 10 years old playing the game here. We have about five times as many high schools playing the game. The college division, they're on national TV, NBC with the Sevens. We never got to see live test matches. We basically had that old Barbarians, New Zealand tape from the early 70s over yeah. and over. So a, a lot of exposure, a lot more kids playing and a lot younger. Mike, I'm so jealous of you. I want to hit you in the face with a bag of nickels, but I understand that you're recently engaged. I am. I am. I have a one. What's his, what's his name? It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, her, her name is Lauren. She's from Bethlehem. We had something there. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Very supportive of my career. She's coming over to England with me. It's Without even seeing her, I can tell you she's the best looking girl in England <laughs> right now. <laughs> she's, uh, she, she's definitely, she's, she's beautiful, you know, and well, I've got a good girl. I found one, so I locked her in. He's smooth. He is very smooth. He's very smooth. All right, Coach, uh, you're not with the New York Rugby Club, the oldest club in the United States uh, and the club that yours truly happens to be affiliated with. But, but that's another story, Coach. We're rooting for Team USA. We're rooting for rugby in general. But there is one question that I know a lot of people at home want to know, a very important question considering your resume, Team USA. One question. Mets or Yankees? <laughs> I, I grew up a Mets fan. My, my dad was a Mets fan, um, much to the dismay of... Don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. <laughs> a lot of Don't people. even tell me you're going to go the other way right now. <laughs> I'm a New York sports fan, but if the Mets are playing the Yankees, I'm, I'm all for the Mets. 
That's the right answer. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Petrie, the scrum half of the U.S. Eagles, a Met fan, and his coach, a stellar championship coach, Mike Tolkien, from the Churchill Cup at Red Bull Arena, meetthematch.com, courtesy of Emirates Air. Uh, Mr. Sebastian Chabal, <laughs> mon frère, s'il vous plaît, uh, ne me blesse pas. Merci. <laughs> so long, everybody. <laughs> 